Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Toolpath another one video. Till now we learn each and every single toolpath of Mastercam Multi Access series. We learn about all the pattern toolpath like as curve, swarf, parallel, along curve and more flow multi surface and the remaining all the applications toolpath also. And now in this video we learn about the Mastercam one of the different toolpath which is known as a unified. Unified toolpath is basically introduced with the Mastercam from the Mastercam 2022 and from the Mastercam 23. It's going to be changes and unified toolpath have very good control. It's a nice very beautiful toolpath and it's a basically combination of four different toolpath that is called Morph, Flow, Guide Curve and Parallel. So now we learn about that how we can create this toolpath in a perfect way. I already created a toolpath on this one model and first I would like to show you a simulation for that how it's going to be created and how it will be work on a properly at a machine. So I would like to show you on a machine with the proper 3D simulation. So this is my 5-axis DMG DOMO50 machine. I have to click on here and hide my door so I can watch the properly everything. I reduce my speed and let's set begin. So guys as you can see here this is basically 5 axis a very beautiful scene you ever seen if you are a 5 axis programmer you are expert and in industry you are doing something work like as an engineer is doing. Remaining all the programming is uh, very easy but when you are going to enter with the 5 axis it's uh, really amazing when you do any com kind of component it's always exciting and always you learn in each second you learn something new so now as you can see here this is toolpath is created on a dmg dmu 5 axis machine it's a showing simulation in a perfect way as you can see here this toolpath is created with the unified and it's created at the first operation once first operation should be done i told to stop the toolpath and i will show you something and after that i have to came with the second so for the remaining material which is right at here so uh, we have to cut this one with also with the help of unified so as you can see here this toolpath is now created with the help of unified and have a look of the beauty of this toolpath zero collision amazing finishing in a perfect way and a smooth toolpath that is the beauty of unified toolpath in a master if any one of person told you that Mastercam don't have the good capability or it's not a good software, just go told him to watch this video. You can do anything with the Mastercam if you have a good knowledge. So now let we have to start to that how we can create this amazing toolpath with the help of the Mastercam Unified Toolpath. So when we before to starting to create this toolpath, first I would like to delete all the operations and click on my favorite icon, delete all operations and just say OK. So now as you can see here, as, as you can see here, this is my model file uh, which is in front of us and now there is some issue is occurred right at here. I have to drag and drop this one. Don't save. Delete all operations. Okay. And now let we have to be so now I delete all the operations and now let we have to start how we can create this toolpath so when I starting to create this toolpath first I would like to create a stock model for creating a stock model I have to go in a stock model uh, click on a model select the entire portion and I just say 0.1 mm extra stock and I just say stock model color should be this this is my favorite stock model color so this is now my stock model once I say this is my stock, you can also modify the color with the clicking right at here and you can just say this, so this is also a good color. Once I define the stock model, so after that we have to create a toolpath. When I have to came to creating a toolpath, first I would like to came in a unified toolpath, I just have to click on a unified. Go to the tool, tool and I just tool a 10 mm of ball nose, I have to came in a cut parameter. Once I have to came in a cut parameter, there are the multiple options with the unified that is something different compared to any other toolpath. As per according to your selection, your parameter is getting to be changed on that same time. 
for example the first step is add automatically second is add with the help of chain third is add with the help of surface and fourth is add with the help of plane so as i told you it's a combination of four different tool path parallel morph uh I'll guide curve and project curve so let we have to create the first tool path with the help automatic i just click right at here so all parameter software automatically selected and right at here i have to defining the machining geometry so this is my machining geometry i just defining the one thing this is called the machining geometry in a cut tolerance i reduce this value and step over is for example 0.1 and just say okay when i just define a one parameter and just click on okay as you can see here this is tool path is created this tool path created in a one way so i have to come in a parameter and reduce to make some changes with the from the zigzag to the spiral so tool can be rotating in a perfect way and smoothly so as you can see here this is my tool path which is created with the help of in a perfect way as we needed with the help of unified so how much easy tool path we can create with the help of unified we have to click on automatic just define the machining geometry in a tool axis control at here we are defining the surface with the tilt so tool will be automatically tilting according to the surface so the remaining all the parameters are the same as per the default we don't make any changes for this so this is the two first tool path which we created right at here in a second portion we have to create a tool path right at here which we have to define uh, with the help of unified again i just click on a unified use the same method cut parameter i just say automatic in a machining geometry just select this and just say okay so as you can see here this tool path is also created right at here so as you can see here look at this is the beauty of this tool path tool have to be automatically coming from the side take the all parameters as per the default value and create a very smooth and beautiful tool path with a zero collision it's automatic detecting everything the model files where the not have to go and where have to go so now this tool path is right at created right at here for example this is the basic method how we can create the tool path with the help of unified in automatic format and now in the next step we have to learn how we can create tool path with the help of a curve so again i have to in curve cut parameter i have to say add curve in add curve when we say add curve it means we have to define a curve right at here so i just select this curve and just say continue to this so a complete curve is created right at here just say okay again machining geometry just define this and just say okay so once i say okay so according to that tool path is created right at here but as you can see here this gap is larger in size so i have to came in a parameter okay uh, this tool path is created perfectly in a curve there are the multiple styles options are available for example you can define with the help of curve also you can define with the help of parallel parallel means it will automatically create a tool path according to the parallelism of this line so for example if you are created this tool path with the help of parallel you can use with the multiple number of options uh, in a step over calculation approximately change with the exact when i say exact so according to that tool path is changed so in a unified there are the multiple options are available you can create the tool path and according to the best you can select and as per you can analyze the tool path and which the tool path should be best you can just say okay and after completion now the is the same method i have to create the tool path with the help of both of these curve in a morph format with the help of unified so again i just say unif click on this one in a cut parameter i have to came with the guide curve so this is my first curve and this is my second curve when i def define the two guide curve so it's what it say you have to can create this tool path with the help of morph when i select on the first area it automatically say second area and just say okay so once i created the tool path so what is happening tool is linking uh, and retracting to the initial point so i came to the parameter it's a, in a spiral format i say zigzag we have to cut with the help of zigzag format so as you can see here this tool have to be created as i needed so there is a zero link in 
linking and tool is a very smooth and a perfect way as per the surface and it's automatic day to day. So I hope guys you will get understand about it how we can create the tool path with the help of uh, unified. Unified is the best strategy in a master cam and you can create the multiple number of part uh, with the help of multiple number of strategy in a single tool path and that created a best tool path with the minimum modifications and this is the best way to create any component on a mast for the multi axis so i hope you get understand about each and everything if you have any question or doubt you can comment on the comment box so see you in the next video keep learning keep growing